Good morning. So today we're doing that condenser TXV at the house that uh, was being heated by one AC unit when it has three. So we're going to go to that house today. We're going to get that TXV fixed and then hopefully that house is heating properly and the homeowner is happy. But we're going to go pick that part up right now this morning at the shop and then uh, go do it the turnaround is actually a lot quicker than I thought because we ordered that like right before New Year's so I'm surprised it got here as fast as it did I like it when we get parts in quick and the response and turnarounds really fast but head to there now we'll get it done oh I'm gonna test I got the new Hercules battery powered vacuum pump we're gonna put her to the test today and see how she does um, I just wanted like a a cheap alternative so when I'm doing rooftop units or something I like to tote and lug around that heavy one and try to find power so we're gonna test it on this one today um, the reason why I want to test it on this one is because we're just changing the TXV so this unit's still gonna have like refrigerant oil all in it inside the coils and stuff even though we blow it out with nitrogen so it should hinder the vacuum for a little bit so we're gonna see if she pulls down as quick and efficient as the field piece one that I got and then we'll go over some more details about it when I'm when I got it turned on and we're gonna put it on the timer and see how long it takes so we'll see you there we're gonna do this outdoor TXV it's pretty easy bolt on hit that hit the line dryer and then we're going to uh, first I'm gonna recover all the refrigerant I got the equipment right here and then I gotta take this top off completely. And then after that, I'm gonna change that TXV once we get all the refrigerant recovered. And and then we'll do the line dryer. Yeah, pressure test and throw a vacuum on it. To make this video a lot shorter, I'm probably gonna skip a whole bunch of steps and get to the vacuum because I really wanna test this vacuum pump. And we'll make this video about that vacuum pump. Alright, so it's really easy to swap these out, just bolt action. Um, I like to sand where that other bolt came off, so I gotta do this. They didn't come with any brackets, so I'm gonna have to tape it to it and zip tie it to it. I'm gonna do that, but in the meantime, I'll go ahead and start my vacuum. Now, my setup for this, it only comes with this bracket here, so I bought a Y off Amazon and uh, I got two 3 8 hoses going into here. I did a nitrogen. This thing has an accumulator so you can still see the ice literally in here. So it's going to struggle. For It's going to definitely struggle to pull a vacuum and, and it's really going to be a test for this little Hercules. So we're going to see how well it does. It's got a gas valve here um, to help and everything. But we're going to see how this thing performs. This is just like the Navac. It's two horse two horsepower two stage or two cfm two stage two cfm so we're gonna turn it on and get it started it's ready to go i got it hooked up like that no schrader cores in it let it go that time 10 24 so we'll see how long it takes to get it down it's already pulling to 18,000 so we'll see I open that gas valve and it is shooting down real nice so we're at 41 now eight minutes after it hit 1800 microns and it's just it's struggling slowing down and struggling a little bit but it's still doing good so we're gonna give it some time in the meantime, I'm throwing her back together. I went ahead and put that top on. I'm gonna put the cover on and uh, just wait and get ready. I'm gonna weigh the charge back in. Got my scale here, just to make sure we're exact and we're refrigerant, seeing how it's so cold outside today. Um, just to make sure we're exact. So far, my first impressions, it's super lightweight. 
and it's not loud at all. This is where the gas ballast opens, so this is as loud as, as it gets. But it's working. It's working good. After we do this one and time it, I'm going to have to keep using it so we can do a durability test. But it's like I'm not, I got the battery pack. I got two batteries for about 89 bucks. You have to buy the charger, which is like 80 bucks. I got the, fa the fast charging one. And then I think this is 120, 130 bucks by itself. The tool only. So it's really not that expensive. I got the Y for like 40 bucks off of Amazon. I already had all the other tools, but it, I mean, you can just a little bit more and you can upgrade to the Navac, but I wanted to give a smaller price tool a chance to see how well it does. Well, not all those, not all HVAC technicians out there got the money and is rich, so we gotta look for alternative ways to get jobs done efficiently. This thing is definitely struggling. Uh, 11, 10. So it's been going a while. It's beeping for low battery already. Well, accumulator's a block of ice. So I'm gonna change the battery out. We'll go again. So I shut it off, changed the battery. That battery is almost dead. And I don't know it's louder now so I think it was struggling because of the weak battery I got the other battery charging now the battery didn't last very long at all so but we'll see if this this helps with a new battery so it says it's a 90 minute runtime on these 5 amp hour Hercules batteries but clearly that's not the case I think we've been running for 30 40 minutes or so and uh, and it's already drained so clearly 90 minutes is not the case so maybe get a bigger battery but this is what we're at now and we'll see if she goes down here in a bit all right so I just unhooked it it was struggling and you can see there was a lot of oil um, in this system it's a lot of nasty oil in here so I think it was would not pull down past 1200 microns due to all the oil in the system uh, so I just disconnected it battery power did not last 90 minutes 45 so I will try to upgrade the battery I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and we'll do another test later on so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel but we're going to do another test later on on like a basic system, maybe new install or evaporator coil where we're only doing half the system and there's not a lot of oil build up. The accumulator in these Goodmans just hold a lot of trash and oil. And when you're doing a vacuum on the whole system, it will pull all that trash out and struggle. This is brand new oil in this build piece and it's already getting cloudy and icky from all the stuff it's pulling out. It's our, it has bumped down past 1200 microns with this unit and you see it's shooting down now we'll put this in quiet mode and let it do its thing but this was really needed in this scenario the battery powered was not enough um, it did not have enough juice to pull that moisture out so I hope you guys like this honest review on here I did buy all this with my own money um, so if you guys want to see more tools reviews like that or and don't want to spend enough money I have a donation link in the comments. You can donate a little bit I could put that toward the next tool or we can put that toward helping a customer out um, But it's, it goes through the cash app and I can just uh, I can do more tool honest tool reviews like this for these lower end tools and stuff that nobody ever wants to to get honest reviews I've seen some reviews on this system itself and uh, they were all saying it, it holds up to NAVAC and everything else and they didn't do a system like this with the accumulator and a lot of trash in the system so 
I really put it to its test today and I'm gonna say it tried and it seemed okay but at the very end I want to say it failed we're gonna give it another review on just a evap pool later on I am gonna keep it though because I think it is worth it for package units rooftop units stuff that's hard to get power to so I do think it still is gonna do its job but when you have an accumulator or a situation like I have today I don't think it's enough for what we're doing so I'm gonna put this thing up we're gonna finish my job in the field piece um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.